what's up y'all so i was just sitting here thinking i'm on my way to work and i was sitting here thinking like what when y'all say relationship goals exactly like what do you mean like are you basing it off of the couple having a lot of money kind of like let me give you an example like i hear a lot of people say oh jay-z and beyonce are relationship goals and i'm like girl for real because like jay-z and his sister-in-law well, his sister-in-law was fighting him in an elevator just a few years ago. And we all know that Jay-Z cheated on his wife. So, why is that your relationship goes? Because they got a lot of money? Is that what it is? Does that make them your relationship goals? Because I would not want no relationship anything like Beyonce and Jay-Z's. Why would, I want, why would I want my man to cheat on me? And why would I want my family members to be fighting in the elevator? Like, I think that shit is so crazy to me. But like I told y'all in my last video, you know, Beyonce got exactly what she asked for. When that bitch said she want her husband to be just like her daddy, go listen to her first album, Dangerously in Love, that's when she was R&B. <laughs> well, really and truly, Beyonce ain't been R&B since uh, the writings on the wall. But Beyonce, the artist, <laughs> the solo artist, she, uh, the last time she was R&B was Dangerously in Love, but remember Beyonce said that, you know, she wanted her unborn son, she wanted her husband to be just like her daddy, and that's exactly what that bitch got. A trifling ass nigga who cheat on you. <laughs> when I see motherfuckers hyping up Cambella and Ju Juel Santana, what the fuck? Do y'all know the shit that this nigga put this bitch through? Some of the shit she allowed, okay? Because at this point, baby, at this point, I'm looking at you crazy too. Like, you 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 allowing this shit to go on. <laughs> but you damn near a 40 year old woman. I can't keep giving you passes and shit. Let me turn the AC on a little bit. I remember when, um, I remember when, uh, what's her name? What's that girl name? Yandy and Mendeecees got married on Love and Hip Hop and everybody was like, oh my God, relation, hashtag relationship goals. Why? This nigga about to go to jail for damn near a decade. Prison for damn near a decade. Why is that your relationship goals? What the fuck? And then I'm like, okay, I start looking at some of these motherfuckers' profiles and I'm like, okay, well, hopefully the people that are making these comments you know, they just don't know no better. They 17, 18. But some of y'all hoes be 30 and 40. Talking about you a wife and a husband. Man, that's my relationship goal, you know. <laughs> and then, then the killer part is the niggas who be like, y'all need me a bitch like Yandy that's gonna hold me down. What the fuck you do? Okay. I could see if you said Barack and Michelle was your relationship goals. Because that's pretty much the, the cleanest couple. And the reason why I say that is because we all know that, baby, people have been trying to find dirt on Barack and Michelle since the beginning. And they ain't found shit. The only thing they could find was Barack wore a tan fucking suit and Michelle had her arms out. That's it. I think they, I think they found out that he, I think he proposed to another woman. That ain't no motherfucking dirt. Who ain't who ain't been in another relationship? You know how many people don't propose to other people? That ain't no motherfucking dirt. So, celebrity-wise, I feel like that's about the only couple that I feel like, if, if, if somebody said Barack and Michelle like relationship goes, I would be like, oh, okay. I would get it. I would get it. Because, like I said, you know, ain't nobody really found out no real dirt on Barack. They've been trying. They ain't found shit. So, I think Barack is really the squeakiest motherfucker, you know, walking around. Well, one of them. One of them. We ain't gonna, we're not going to sit here and act like, you know, I love Barack Obama to pieces, but we're not going to sit here and act like Barack is the only decent man, you know, walking around. Um, but yeah, so I'm just like, what are your relationship goals? And what do you base your relationship goals off of? Like, is it based off money? Is it based off popularity? Is it based off the man being good and decent? 
and treating you right and being honest. Because really and truly, if a man is honest, then he going to tell you, hey, this ain't working. We need to do something. Hey, can we have an open relationship? Hey, you see what I'm saying? I just feel like honesty is the number one thing. Because if a motherfucker is honest with you, whatever is going on, he going to let you know. Hey, this ain't working. Hey, we might need to go to therapy. Hey, you want to have a threesome? Hey, have you considered having an open relationship? Don't that make sense what I'm saying? Even if, even if it's some shit that you don't want to hear. Bitch, I would rather you come to me than for me to find out some fuck shit is going on behind my back. So y'all let me know. Because I need to know what the fuck y'all relationship goes on because y'all motherfuckers be confusing me. All right, y'all. I'm at work. Y'all have a good one. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.